Okay, so this is take two on the Thanos bust. Um, we're going to get into it right away. This is going to be kind of a longer video because I'm going to show you how my um, process is for um, setting up the, the printer to build, um, just in case you're curious. So um, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is move my little troll. The second thing I need to do is clean off the plate and the other things. So, first things first, safety first. We have gloves, always use gloves. Because you don't want those resin shit on your hands, it's bad. Because it could get in your food, it could get in your hair, it could get everywhere and you don't want to do that, so. Yes, I got the purple ones because of the Joker. Don't judge me. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, once you have your gloves on, I keep a little bowl here with all of my implements and things. This is like $3 for a pack of three, I think, at Walmart. So, I mean, it's easily... You know. All right, so you set that out of the way. <laughs> Excuse me. Make sure your workspace is clear. Bring him forward. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you know, lid lid comes off like so. Set him to the side here. Now we can scoot him back, make room, because we have limited desk space because we are poor. So, set your bowl here. Take off your your build plate, and then you set your build plate down in here. Actually, we're gonna do it this way. So you set this down in here so that it doesn't get everywhere. And then you take your scraper. You need a metal scraper, but I only have a plastic one. Um, and you just peel that little sucker off and drop him in the bowl. You can leave your implements down in there. Then you reattach your build plate. Make sure she's nice and tight. And then you can just take this and you just throw it away in the trash because that that is now useless unless you want like sprue or paint testing or something similar um, because that is now a useless piece of the build um, I have rebuilt the file so we're gonna try take two. Uh, okay, so now you loosen the nuts here on the tank. Whoops. Get the hairs off of your implements here. Um, what was I gonna? Right. The um, the resin. So now you want to take your um, your leftover resin because we have to get what was stuck to the um, the screen, the FVP, uh, off before we can move on. So if you look carefully, the build plate on here has a little notch, and you just I like to hold it over the bowl, just in case, you know, something makes a mess. And you just... No, Robert. Don't do it, Robert. Robert. Robert, no. You pour all that back in the... the resin tank. Robert, the answer is no. Go away. Um, 
and just get all that back in the the jug as much as you can okay not a big deal not the end of the world you make a mess you make a mess you can clean it up later yes that's my cat arguing with me because he wants to get in my lap while I'm playing with resin so luckily it doesn't look like this one was too thick on the build plate before I stopped it because it's only looks like it's about um, I don't know it had just started to build the base I, I suppose uh, I don't really know anyway so now that that's clean or empty rather you can take a paper towel which is what I always do and wipe all of the edges down, anything that the resin touched. Um, yeah, so you can do that. Make sure that's nice and clean and clear. <clears throat> Set him to the side because you're going to need him in a minute. So then you get your your other implement, your scraper, and you carefully, not to scrape the screen, and you just peel what was stuck to the plate off, see? So, dump him in there. Uh, just gently run your scraper over your FEP to get some of that extra... Actually, we should put it that way. You know. Make sure all your resin there is... Well, you don't have to do that because you're going to put it back in there anyway. So you have. Um... Oh, no. What am I doing? Don't do that. Oh, my God, Robert. My cat is yelling at me. Um, okay, so that's really ugly, and I don't know why, but uh, that's, that's fine. We'll come back to it. So put your thing back there, put it in place, lock it back down. And you can either leave that that you peeled off of the screen in your your thing, or you can throw it away. I always just throw it away um, because it, unless you just want it, it's useless. I mean, it's not useless, but you know what I'm saying. And you just drop your implements in back in there, seal that back up, set it to the side where your animals can't get to it or your children can't get to it because that is now covered in resin from your hands. We'll set her to the side, thank you. Okay, next step is you take your resin. I'm using uh, Elegoo brand that matches my um, printer. Uh, standard photopolymer resin in gray. And you fill your tank up. So we fill the tank up with the resin, get it all in there fill it up until you hit I don't know if you can see the you can't right here it says max oh my arms in the way that's stupid um, right here on the inside of the tank it says max now the catch is you don't want to fill it to that line because when your plate comes down, obviously it displaces some of the resin, so it comes up over that. So if you fill it up to that, you may have overspill when you try to print something. So um, don't um, don't fill it to that line. Fill it um, to about about right there, because when that, like I said, when that plate comes down into the tank, it's going to displace some of that um, resin and it will push it up over top of the um, tank and you make it spillage inside of your printer which is ugly you don't want that so <clears throat> all right now that we have done that we've cleaned the build plate we've cleaned the tank I have already rebuilt the um, Thanos model so we're gonna try Thanos bust take two hair on my thing um okay 
So, now that we've done that, um, we can remove our gloves because we're done with the resin for now. Um, throw your gloves away. Make sure some of our pets and animals and children can't get to it. Um, we have to pull him back out. And then... Ooh, sorry. And then you put your lid back on. You don't have to print with your lid on. I like to just because it helps block out some UV light, especially in the daytime when I'm printing, like in the mornings. Um, turn your power on. I'm not going to do that yet because that messes with the audio. Um, after you load your file to your USB drive, take your USB drive. Once that's uploaded, you turn your machine on. You'll probably hear it. Okay. There it is. And there's the fan. And then you choose... Well, hold on. So we're not going to print yet. I'm going to set up the GoPro. We're going to do that. Okay. We're going to set up the GoPro. Right there, baby. Okay. And the GoPro is now going, recording, okay. And so we choose print. We choose, oh, whoops, I didn't put the new one on there. See, that's why you have to think and pay attention to what you're doing, because I updated it, but I didn't add it to the thumb drive. Uh, okay, open folder. Desktop. <laughs> yep, that's the one. Drop that onto the USB drive. Replace the file. And I've re... re um, I laid it out differently. Instead of being vertical again, I laid it flat against the build plate. So, hope and that reduced... The, so what I did was, in the last video, I had it set to a 7 second exposure and 1.5 millimeter wall thickness. So today, I changed it to a uh, 5 millimeter, or 5, I'm sorry, 5 second exposure time and a 1.2 millimeter wall thickness. So we'll see if that helps. Hopefully it does, because I would prefer to have this print completed instead of... Um, you know, it being a mistake again. I would like to have a finished product to show you guys. And it greatly reduced the build time as well. So, <clears throat> that's fun.
the setup. I don't know, but it's really aggravating. I'm going to figure this out. So this is a learning process. It's never easy um, when you take on a new technology, so especially something as complicated as this. So we're going to keep at it. We're going to keep trying. Uh, I'm going to call it for the day, but we will um, come back and explore what to do later. And I'll post this video and let you guys uh, see what the process is like. So.